welcome friends let us solve the second part of question number 1 of exercise 2.2 .2 of chapter 2 and the question is as follows find the zeros of the following quadratic polynomial and verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients so let us see how to solve this question first of all we shall collect the given polynomial and the given polynomial is 4s square minus 4s plus 1 since the variable of this polynomial is s therefore we shall denote it by ps so ps is equals to 4s square minus 4s plus 1 and now we shall factorize this polynomial by using the method of splitting middle term and for that we shall split the middle term in such a way that the sum of its two factors is equals to the middle term itself but the product of these two factors of the middle term is equals to the product of first term and the last term so the factors are 2 and minus 2s and minus 2s and here we have plus 1 and now we shall take 2s common from first two terms then we have 2s minus 1 in bracket here we shall take common minus 1 then we have 2s minus 1 and finally it is 2s minus 1 into 2s minus 1 these are the factors of the given polynomial ps and now we shall put ps equals to 0 therefore it will be 2s minus 1 into 2s minus 1 equals to 0 this means 2s minus 1 equals to 0 or 2s minus 1 equals to 0 therefore the zeros of the polynomial are s equals to 1 over 2 or s equals to 1 over 2 so both the zeros are same and now we shall verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients so we shall write verification and for that first of all we shall find the sum of zeros and that is 1 over 2 plus 1 over this means this is equals to 1 and we can write it as 1 over 1 or we can write it as 4 over 4 or we can write it as minus 4 minus into minus 4 over 4 and this ratio is equals to the ratio of minus coefficient of term s over coefficient of s square so this relationship is verified and now we shall find the product of zeros that is product of zeros and that is 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 this means we have 1 over 4 and this ratio is equals to the ratio of constant term over coefficient of s square so both the relationships are verified. Thank you.